this video will share with you that the flight experience from Taipei to Singapore with the Singapore Airlines Business Class with their Boeing 787. So the check-in counter is at the row 6. You have to come all the way here at the back. In uh, this video, I will show you the lounge and uh, the flight, uh, what I eat, the seat features, and uh, the review of the flight. So let's go to check-in now. I think the check-in counter just opened. So you can see that the business counter class is ready. So yeah, let's go check-in right over here now. If you are in economy, you'll be right on the left side. Uh, there is no premium economy here. But if you are a Star Alliance Gold member, you can uh, come over here as well. So let's check in here. Check-in is really, really fast. In uh, Taiwan, when you check in your baggage, you have to come right over here to wait for your baggage. After the security screening screen, then uh, you may go to clear the immigration. This is just in case that you have any uh, item that not safe for flight. Sometimes the power bank left over. They will ask you to uh, open your baggage and then uh, remove it right over here. Everything clear in the public area in the Terminal 2. There are lots of F&B options, but I will recommend you to go inside to uh, have the food there because uh, there are lots of food options as well. So just walk all the way back to the middle. That's a place to clear the immigrations. After you clear the immigration and then turn to your right and then look for this escalator, go to the second floor, then you come over here, see the Starbucks logo, turn to your right, then you see this uh, red color signage on the top. At the very first line of the signage, you'll see the direction to the Singapore Airlines Silver Cruise Lounge and you'll walk by to a very narrow and dark alley. Don't panic, this is the right direction to the lounge. Okay. You will see this signage right on your right and then on the left side at least there's the EVA lounge for the higher tier. Remember to visit the lounge called the Garden. And just turn to your right side, you'll see the Silver Crisp Lounge uh, entrance right over here. So most of the passengers are going to their flight and my flight is the next flight. So I can show you the lounge that's almost empty. Uh, right over here, you get the beverages sections. You get the juices, the beer, their fa fa I mean famous uh, tea. Then I get the sandwiches, uh, dressing for the salad, cheese. I love their cut fruits, always very tasty. Then the salad. I have not yet tried this uh, G Kama salad yet. Then um, they have a very very nice white wine from Australia you can love it and this one is shitty really shitty sparkling wine <laughs> sorry to say that and then you get the McKellen whiskey um, the red wine I have not tried this then uh, the spa snack the tea hot beverages coffee then uh, the bread you can heat up the popular famous uh, garlic bread then the steamed beverages uh, uh, this is called the per meatball. I have not tried this. I will try that later. And uh, yeah, let me show you the other hot food. This is something you must try in Taiwan, the braised pork rice. Uh, we call it ru rou fan. Super delicious. And the noodle is really good. So next one, we have the chicken curry. The vegetable is good. I am not sure if that's a hot boy egg or something else. Then today we have the nasi lemak. This one is burning my mouth. It's going to burn my ass next day. So if you can't take spicy food, uh, if you see the nasi lemak, which is a coconut rice, don't take it. <laughs> don't, don't take the chili too much. It's still tasty, but it's just like, very spicy. Then uh, most of the seed, they have the power plug universal power plug and uh, USB port oh with the USB-C port now so uh, it's very very comfortable right over here uh, I'm going to show you the, the cookies first then they have some cakes the cut fruits then uh, we have the three different types of hot soups I love the bakute if you uh, love Singapore bakute that's the one that you should try and this is a red bean and purple rice sweet sour, uh, sweet soup. It looks like this. Then you have to add on the coconut milk. Then a cream mushroom soup. And the condiment for the bakute. 
and this is a chicken herbal soup it smells really good and uh, let me see the toilet I got no people that I'm gonna show you the toilet for the gents okay there's no one here so I can show you that urina and toilet toilet bowl and let me try go to see the shower facility so here is two shower facility and uh, oh wow let me lock the door first so the baby diaper changing station and then the toilet with the handicap assist, uh, assistant then shower cap wow very impressive I never see a shower cap in the uh, airport lounge toothbrush, shaver, comb, shaving cream mouthwash, oh lotion very good I need that later and if you need the towel you can just uh, contact the staff to get a towel and although it was saying that this is a handicap room but I don't think it's really that handicap friendly let me see is that anything different here oh wow Ooh, wow <laughs> yeah so here it is because there's too many doors I think the handicap person will be quite troublesome and there's a step on this uh, side okay I'm going to enjoy more alcohol edit my video and I will go to the EVA lounge later I just found out that uh, if you fly with Singapore Airlines business class you can go to EVA lounge for the Star Alliance Go Lounge or their usual business class lounge I'm going to show you what you can get for the food and the drinks If you come over here, you must try this uh, Taiwanese uh, whiskey, really good The Germany, uh, ge ge sorry, Germany Riesling is good as well And they serve really good uh, Ely coffee Much better than the one that you get in the Singapore Airlines lounge And um, if you are drinking the whiskey you must try this uh, chocolate is amazing it's really really good and uh, you will not get ice cream in a uh, silver chris lounge but you can get it in the eva lounge for, uh, with the uh, hacker dance ice cream matcha vanilla strawberry and the uh, chocolate then you get this uh, mixed fruit juice from the natural benefits and you can make your own the bubble tea <laughs> it's so cool so put as much as this uh, tapioca ball as you will want and they have a really good uh, braised beef soup from this uh, san ho fong then uh, you just like uh, put this bowl of the noodle with the broth i tried this uh, soup is really good um, basically everything here is uh, so much better than singapore airline lounge it used to be a quite a boring lounge but now it's like slightly renovated so much better now i'm going to uh, buy some bubble tea for the cabin crew then i will go to board the plane so the singapore airline lounge is right at the back and then the eva lounge is right over there and if you like to try the very first uh, bubble tea papa tea this is the one that created this uh, papa tea it's called chun sui tang you can come right over here to buy the bubble tea the milk tea but the price is almost like a lot a lot a lot so different if you can uh, get it in the uh, town area i believe you can get it much cheaper or maybe it's the same price i have no idea because that uh it will not charge 190 for a cup of milk tea in taiwan i guess uh so if you want a cheaper one that like, it should not be here got the bubble tea for the cabin crew so i'm going to uh, walk to the boarding gate i'm going to show you a little bit of the duty free so uh let's see if you like to buy some of the alcohol you can buy it right over here uh, they do have some of the whiskey the local alcohol so uh let's see if i can find the penfold so these are the price that you can get for penfold and some of the sake but i think the stuff is like trying to chase me away now so let's go to oh Kavalan this is the good one you should buy the Kavalan and then uh, you can get the Bulgari you can get the Burberry the local uh, souvenir I can see the staff are like discussing about me like taking video in the duty-free usually it's allowed but I'm not sure why they're a little bit nervous 
Then, uh, honestly, the souvenir in the airport can be slightly pricier, but um, it's still okay. Uh, if you don't want to carry so many items along with you, just buy in the airport, it will be slightly convenient for you. There's one very cool feature is like the free charging port that you can uh, charge your devices with the locker lock out. It's a Luna Chinese. Uh, it's a Luna New Year now. I, we are not going to claim it's Chinese New Year anymore. So Luna New Year right over here, they have some uh, calligraphy events. There's a lots of things about the Chinese New Year because that there are some groups of people that saying that Chinese New Year is belong to them. So most of the Chinese around the world is calling the celebration is Luna New Year now. Our boarding gate is a D7, will be right over there. Uh, so over here you can see some of the duty free again. So the very great Kavalan whiskey selling from 1790 it's a very good price. And uh, the whiskey here selling at one liter, so it's slightly a bigger bottle one. So, and then over here, I remember they used to offer like free massage, uh, massage chair, and uh, some little amazing, cute, sweet uh, services. And I used to love to buy books here because that uh, they always offer a lot of the nice books. There's one shop is called the Taiwan Museum Shop. It's quite cool. Uh, I do. If you can't make it to those uh, the museum, these are the place that you can buy very cool thing. Like this is their signature display, the cabbage, and they do have some of the Scotch tape. Are uh, really popular that uh, sometimes they sold out. So these are the place that you should come over here to buy their souvenir that will help you to remind you about Taiwan. D7 has a very cool uh, puppet puppet display exhibition because this is a very uh, cool Taiwanese uh, puppet show uh, in the earlier date and then now we are at this uh, gate to uh, have the boarding gate check so that will be a washroom over there and then some drinking water station telephone diaper change station and some of the power charge for you to recharge your products, I'm sorry, your devices. <laughs> so here's a plane, uh, Boeing 787. Uh, as a business class passengers, you can uh, just take a seat right over here and uh, economy and uh, Starline go on the right. So we will be bought right over here later. For the first class and the business class, boarding will be right on the left side. And if you are traveling with the Singapore Airlines, you can see that the uh, Elite Go or Star Lion goals that you can uh, board from the left side. So usually you will be at the group 3 to board. Then uh, yeah, so you can see that from the right side. Group 1, 2, 3, then they'll call for the following groups. Today my seat will be at Trao K and I'm going to show you the seat of Trao K and all the experiences in the business class. So I think that the cabin crew are not ready yet, I guess. So let's see how they perform for this flight. Okay, let me uh, bring you to uh, Singapore with me together on this flight. Hey, just settle down and uh, if you're lucky enough that yeah, you can get this seat. This is a corner for the baby bassinet. So if you have baby, there'll be a basket for the baby. But uh, I don't like this seat because it's near to the aisle. So it's quite disturbing and it's near to the laboratory. So let me show you about the seat now. Uh, Okay, sorry about this. I had to get one drink for myself. So you get a bottle of drinking water. This is a menu for the flight to Singapore. I will show you what you can get if you did not order the how they call book the cook. Over here you get two USB port and a universal power plug. You can close this so all your device will be safe right inside. And then uh, here you get a mirror. There's a mirror over here. Then uh, you can uh, have a. This hanger is for you to hang the headphone. And usually, when the welcome drink, welcome drink come over here or any kind of drink, it'll be placed right over here. 
and uh, the touch panel right over here for you to adjust all the seat features like uh, you want the light you want the uh, dim down uh, flat bed do not deserve call the cabin crew and this is the plug for the audio jack and a remote control for the in-flight entertainment and then you press this button you got the armrest okay whenever or any of the accessories not working you get the $200 voucher <laughs> then uh, the three pin uh, seat belts then the reading lights right over here three uh, level so if you want it to be brighter darker you can do it right over here that press a little bit more and switch it off and that's another uh, arm rest for you okay so on the seat you get this uh, blanket and the fluffy pillow right over here then uh, this corner is usually for you to leave your shoe if you need a slipper just ask the cabin crew to pass you the slipper seat bag is right over here safety information to let you know where you should escape in case of any emergency how to use the wi-fi it's a little bit complicated all the time but um in case you have no uh, you got issue with the infl uh what they call internet call the cabin crew then the chris shop uh, strongly recommend you to use it uh i mean pre-order it because uh, usually you will not get this the products you have to really the pre-order that and then uh, here is the legs room let me show you how it is i have big foot so usually slightly uh, difficult for me to spread my legs wider and then this is how you deploy the tray there is a latch underneath here press it and pull it out and flip over you get the wider uh, tray table and uh, it's very sad that if you have this uh, tray deployed you cannot go out if you need to go to the washroom we have the food with you unless you are sitting right over there okay so i will show you the washroom in a bit this is a welcome drinks so you can get the juice the water um, and champagne uh, if you need any other types of the welcome drink you have to wait for a little bit but of course i will go for the champagne here is a washroom over here in the business class at the front two washroom uh, here you have the step to step to throw the trash and then uh, soap hand towel facial towel uh, cotton towel amenity is a uh, toothbrush uh, they supposed to have the sanitary pad for the ladies but I don't have it here I mean they don't have it here uh, perfume lotion facial mist hand sanitizer shaving cream shaver and a counter for diaper change up to three babies then you can uh, change your shoe right away if you like to sit down if you don't want to sit here you think it's dirty then you can sit right at with the cushion and then a full length mirror right over here a plastic orchid two hanger one hang your pen one hang your panty underwear g-string tong do not smoke here if you really need to smoke throw your cigarette here don't burn the plane by throwing the cigarette there so here's a pilot after i finished my champagne i got the oh, <laughs> sorry i got the hot towel so lots of people love it i think it's uh, not necessary to me i would rather to have the hand sanitizer or alcohol wipe i actually asked for just a slipper but the cabin crew quite nice they gave me the slipper the socks and the ice sheet so yeah here it is it looks like this i just changed to my slipper and it looks like this very comfortable if you like to check the bottom you just uh, leave out like that you can see everything <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to show you the in-flight entertainment. This is the home page. So it's a touch screen. You can just slide everything. And then uh, the spotlight, movies, live TV, watch the news, and then uh, TV, blah, blah, blah. Music. So usually I... Oh yeah, there's a headphone inside the here. This one. It's a noise cancelling headphone, but usually I don't use it. It, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, movies. So it is uh, February of 2014. Let's check out the new on Chris World. Uh, still 
acceptable to me. There are some movies that are new, like this one, Oppenheimer. Am I pronouncing this right? Then、uh, the rest, I am not sure about that. Pitch Tree. Then, if you like to,、uh, let's see. Oh,、mm, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Accidentally close the、uh, screen because that is、uh, quite good that I can turn it off. Sometimes I really hate that the screen is like keep on showing. And、uh, to connect the app, it's always very difficult for me to link up. But、uh, I can, I just link up to the in-flight、uh, Wi-Fi. Then、uh, let me show you the speed test. So it's already linked. Then test the flight internet speed.、Uh, it's actually not too bad for me to update all my social media posts. So, but it just takes some time to、uh, test the speed. Okay, so here it is. You can see the speed. It will be fifty one megabyte per second, and then to upload will be take some time. It's only five megabyte per second. I just read the instruction to link your device. You need to go to your app, look for your flight, connect to seat, then、uh, seat code. So I need to tap a link, link. So the code will be three zero zero three, and continue. I never really read that. I thought it would be link easier, <laughs> but、uh, yeah. So it's not working again. Oh, seat number. Sorry, hang on. Seat number trial K. Trial K. <laughs> I thought that would be the oh okay. Link my device confirm. Ah, finally for my very first time, and it's still not working. <laughs> It's been a while. They has been downgraded the sake, and then it's still the lower grade of sake. So I'm going to drink the only two bottles in the business class. I'll change to champagne after the bar bite, the drink. So the cabin crew offer the appetizer, which is a smoked salmon salad with the dressing. I think the Caesar salad、uh, dressing. So you can、uh, request the cabin crew put the dressing. Over the salad or on the side, then、uh, I have this、uh, downgraded sake. Only two bottles of sake if you are not flying in the Japanese、uh, flight, Japan flight. So、uh, snatch it as you can. It's not bad. It's just like slightly、uh, drier sake. But、uh, if they had the Jumai Daginjo, it'll be perfect for me. Then.、Uh, I have my second bottle already, so this will be the last one. Then I'll opt for the champagne. Then the next one, I'm going to call for、uh, wait for the cabin crew to share around the bread. Then I will show you what you can have for the bread. So if you like to get the bread, and then there's a lots of option for you. I will choose. I will strongly recommend you to try the garlic bread. It's popular in Singapore Airlines. This is something new to me. I've never tried this. It's a sesame chicken. Uh, rice. I think it's only have it in a、uh, Taiwan route because that、uh, this is something Taiwanese winter food. Sesame chicken. It smell fantastic, but I am actually a little bit full now. <sighs> I will <laughs> I will give it a try and I'll let you know that whether that you should order、uh, order this on the book the code or not. After the main course, you get all this.、Uh... Dessert and cupboard ice cream. Uh, but uh, you can choose one or you order all. I'm very greedy. I order all. I order the ice cream. I order the cheese. I order cupboards, and then I have the pot, and then I have the tea. Now I'm going to show you how the flat bed are going to be. This, this damn bloody touch screen is really not uh friendly. Okay, so uh, when you It's not like 
one touch thing you have to keep touch on this bloody uh, button actually it's not too bad I can't remember much more about the 787 uh, Singapore Airlines 787 business class because they are, it's actually quite similar with the one with the Turkish Airways Turkish Airlines I just flown recently and I I I, I think uh, I, I think it's actually slightly sorry for my fans it's slightly much better for the privacy it's very helpful to have the humidifier fans like that you'll keep your skin better okay <laughs> so uh, your legs will be like this I am 175 uh, I still have a lot of the space above my head now but I think if you're above 180 it might not be comfortable maybe you have to like uh, sleep on the sideway and bend a little bit with your leg but I do think it do it does have a good privacy a little bit as long you are turning that side so no one can see your feet <laughs> Okay, I am going to have more alcohol now. I forgot to take the video of the ending because I left my passport on the seat and then I was drunk. <laughs> then I was like, panicked and uh, thanks to the Changi Airport and the uh, cabin crew, I guess, they actually uh, helped me to uh, locate my passport and then send it back to me at the carousel bag collection when I was so drunk, I was like rolling on the floor. <laughs> Anyway, it was a perfect flight. It was an amazing flight. They have a nice lounge that you can visit, two lounges that you can visit with good food option, with alcohol option. Then uh, the cabin crew are very nice. They are very professional. They allow me to take video of the bread. They are making the food plate nicely for me. The seat is quite comfortable. The toilet are all very well prepared for those uh, amenities. Uh, for the... Flight, Singapore Airlines flight, if uh, for the lady, if you're having a period, so uh, actually some of the toilet, they do have the sanitary pad for you, so uh, you can uh, use that eh, sanitary pad, right? sanitizer, Sani sanitary pads, yeah, for you to, uh, to uh, just for emergency. Uh, I will strongly recommend you to uh, fly with the Singapore Airlines because that, um, the timing is just perfect for me. Not too early to leave the airport, not too early to, uh, not too late to reach home. So I hope that this uh, video helpful for you to uh, plan to fly with the Singapore Airlines from uh, Taipei to Singapore. Okay, goodbye.